Hi guys, it's me, the Big V again. It's been a while since I made a video, but uh, I've not been swapping phones as much as I used to. But I did get an uh, upgrade on my contract, and I had a choice. I could have gone for any phone. Um, I was debating, waiting for the Galaxy S3, but I didn't think it was that much of an upgrade, um, to be honest, from the Galaxy S2. Yes, it's got quad core and all that thing, but it just didn't, like a lot of people, it didn't seem that big of an upgrade update so I went for the HTC One X now I know a lot of people complained about it but I personally had no problems and I'm really chuffed I, it was on O2 it just had the new update to 1.29 kernel thing that fixed a lot of bugs and thing it's really smooth and I've also managed to unlock the bootloader by registering at HT, HTC dev and um, took about five minutes basically followed the instructions worked brilliantly got me unlock key down passed it to the phone said you want to unlock the bootloader yes and all put yes did it fine reset it does wipe the whole phone it basically wipes everything but I put everything basically back it's working fine and then I followed a, a YouTube video that allowed you to put give you super user access and basically root it and it was just a one click thing there wasn't any messing about just click bang now I could have put the custom uh, recovery image on as well but I haven't done that because I've got no need for that yet it was more for the root but it does work and again for the phone I'll do a bit of a review on the phone as well I got the the black one it's got fingerprints on as you can see fingerprint magnet but it's a really really nice phone really smooth you cannot see really much on there but the screen is the best screen I've seen on any phone and I do mean that any phone and I'm going to get the little thing I don't know whether you'll be able to see this but just there is the super user thing I think to prove that it's uh, it is unlocked well not unlocked but you know it's rooted and I put uh, titanium back up on and it asked for super user rights which I've given it and it's working fine so it's fully rooted the bootloader's unlocked, so then I, if I want to, I can flash the custom thing, which I do have. I just like I say, I hadn't, I've got no need for to put the the custom bootloader on, so I'm not going to flash other ROMs onto this. I'm going to keep it as kind of stock, and um, for the time being, because I have no problems with the stock. It's very fast. It's very very smooth, as you can imagine, You're using like a, a quad core system. I've run some Tegra three only demo that you can get. That works fine. I've run a couple of other games on it and to be honest the games were amazing absolutely amazing the texture and the, the speed I've had no problems at all so if anyone's been thinking about getting one of these I highly recommend them yes you can't get the battery but you can't on an iPhone 4 without taking it in some way I do want a major operation on it this is the same a lot of people complained about that that doesn't matter if it's good enough for the iPhone 4 to have it in, sealed in battery what's the problem with this I've not had much problem with battery life. I'm a moderate user. I don't go mental, but you know, perusing quite often and a bit of internet, Facebook all the time. I've got sync and left on. I've got BT phone on here, so it locks into the Wi-Fi when I'm out and things. And I get through all, all day. I mean, I nearly made a couple of days on it. But if you do run some major 3D games, then it can suck the battery. So what I was doing, like I've kind of got two sets of games, and I've got normal type of games that you know cut the rope and you know general things like that silly games that don't take a lot of battery power from when, when I'm out if I want to play something major on it I normally just connect it into the power when I'm sitting on the couch and I can play away and play them more intense games plugged into the power and those games are really worth it this thing can push some data around the camera people have complained about the camera the camera is fantastic Quality is really good. I've had no problem with quality. Really sharp, really crisp pictures. The video recording's been fantastic. You've got that feature where you can take a video and press and take a, a photo at the same time. Works fantastic. If you took the video and you missed the photograph, you can just play the video back in, on the phone and it actually puts the camera button on while, while you're watching the video back so you can take a snapshot. So you've got like a second chance of getting it. You've got that burst mode press and hold the camera button, it'll take about 9 frames, 9 pictures a second and then ask you which one's the best one so you can pick that photograph out again, really good I've had no problems with crashing no problems with anything 
um, people have said they've come across a bit of lag, which I have, but nothing major. If a tiny, tiny bit of lag, as your phone, say, just installed something and you've come back out to the desktop and it's still obviously doing something in the background and there's a tiny bit of lag, if that bothers you that, 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 to that degree, they haven't invented a phone yet that's going to make you guys happy. Because I've seen a lot of videos when I was looking at these phones and the tiniest bit of lag, and cause some of them you couldn't really see it nearly with the naked eye, there was a, a fraction of a second as he swiped from screen to screen. And it was a problem for them. I mean, come on, guys, get realistic. You know what I mean? Yes, it's a quad core, but it's just an operating system. It's based on Linux and thing. They, you know, they can get a bit of lag. I've got a PC here with a quad core running at four point odd gigahertz, and my computer still takes a couple of seconds to do something. It still has a bit of lag on a couple of things, but it's not a problem. But because it's a phone, it seems to be a problem for people. So little bit of lag here and there but only at certain times when it's doing certain things and I think that's down to just the the sense the sense 4.0 that's on these phones and um, other people who reported they put the launches on had no problem with lag so I don't think it's the phone the hardware's up to it just the sense but I kind of like the sense I like the widgets and things like that like I said before the screen the screen is just astonishing I have never seen a screen this clear and I've had iPhone 4s and things like that with retina displays and other phones. And this thing, the viewing angles, I mean, you can see there. You can tilt it and you can still see it clearly there. It doesn't just disappear. It looks like it's actually painted on there when you're looking at it like that. It is really, really strange. Really good. And it looks really good. It's really clear when you're outside in bright sunlight. You can still see it. Where other phones, it's just complete game over. It's white out this you can still see it and like I say I've got glare I should have turned the brightness down maybe so I'll try that just so you can actually have a, a look at the screen it's just personally preference I have my um, brightness turned right up so you can get it down right so you, you can sort of see it sort of level right there that's a bit better but again you can see any lag you see in there is because the camera I'm videoing this with isn't the world's best so you do get a bit of frame thing believe me as I'm doing that that is so smooth it's not actually funny as you can see it's skipping from screen to screen there's a widget showing all my photographs and things and you can see that it, it's updating itself as you're scrolling and it, look at how fast that's going bang 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 pinch to zoom bang bang it's very very fast it doesn't really slow down in normal use you've got your with app manager thing here to get rid of apps that you've run recently to keep the phone clear works really well I just like the phone it feels really nice in the hand as well really good but what I'm not going to do in this video is put links and everything to where to go to do what basically if you have a look on Facebook not Facebook sorry YouTube I've got Facebook on the brain here YouTube uh, for routing, there's plenty of things on there to, on how to do it. And if you look for the um, bootloader unlock to unlock the bootloader on the phone, you just go to htcdev.com. There you can register. Then it'll run you through what you need to do that. And like I say, it only takes five minutes. And again, you can actually just YouTube that, and that's where I did it. And people showing you how to do it. That bit takes five minutes, but please do be aware it does wipe your phone like a factory reset. <coughs> so you will have that. But once that bootloader is unlocked, it's unlocked permanently until you relock it with a command. Um, and that will allow you to jump some um, custom ROMs on if you want. If you want to put the custom recovery flash thing on, like you do on all other Android phones then you can play with other ROMs. Like I said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep this stock. Um, I'm quite happy at that. And I'm just quite happy it's rooted. Again, the route, it's a one-click one click route. Again, you can um, Google that and it shows you out there. There's many different ways of doing it. And the one I used was just come up on Google straight away. It's just a thing you download. You open it up, run the, it's called a run me bat, and it does it for you. Restarts the phone a couple of times sends busybox on, sends the super user thing on, job done, rooted, took a couple of minutes. So I'm not going to go on much longer. 
Um, if anyone else wants to know anything about the phone itself, um, please drop us any messages and I'll answer back sort of when I can. But it is a good phone. I've had no problems with screen flicker, fuzziness down the edge of the screen that people reported. This one, uh, the update came up today to, to take it to the latest update from O2, which is supposed to fix a lot of bugs. Um, I've not found any bugs, to be honest. I've not found anything that's a major problem. Um, nothing's really crashed on us. The only thing that crashed on us, which crashes on every phone I've ever had, was Apple in it, the alternative market and black mark app but that's just down to what they are the alternative markets and things and they have crashed on every android phone i've ever had but it's only every now and again and that's down to that program not the phone so really nice really smooth really good for gaming yes the battery life may be a problem if you're a heavy 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 user play a lot of games but i've had the iphone phone things like that sealed in batteries that was the same you played some heavy, heavy game, and while you were out, you chewed through that battery pretty quickly, even on an iPhone. This one, I would say, a battery life, based on the size of the screen as well, and that screen, kind of talk enough about that screen, brilliant. Even with that bigger screen to power, I seem to be getting longer out this than I did out, out the iPhone. So, you know... Some people are reporting really bad battery life, but they must be hammering the phone when they're out. They must be doing something. And like I say, I've never, I've not come across that problem. Really happy with it. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. Just a quick video to let you know you can unlock the bootloader dead easy officially. That's through HTC Dev official bootloader unlock. And the route, there's a one click route out there. Dead simple, dead easy. Took me five minutes to find them online between the bootloader and rooting it 10 minutes max for both job done so get yourself looking out there guys if you want to do that and like I say any other questions drop us a message and I'll answer them best I can but I really really recommend this phone thanks a lot guys thanks for watching catch you next time